not going to talk much about the game. I'm just going to share with you that uh, it's been a blessing and a privilege to coach young men that we have in our program this year. We have a great group of guys who are class acts, really good students, good community people, and uh, and for the seniors especially, um, legacy kind of guys, guys that make a big difference in your program. And they're great student athletes, so um, that's my, that's my comment. Push for the players. Brady, you guys feel like there were a couple balls that went right to the wall, kind of could have a chance to get you guys right back in, and, and then when they come up, it seems like they were going to find some holes in, in the offense. Yeah, uh, Bales and I were just kind of talking about it. They We stung a couple balls, like you said, right to the track, and I mean, that's baseball, and then they had a few bloops that kind of fell in for them, got them going a little bit, but again, I mean, can't complain too much about that. Uh, Zach, obviously, final game for a lot of seniors. Uh, what does it mean to you personally and also the seniors to have Beaver Nation come out and give you guys a standing ovation like they did there at the end? Shoot, I mean, this community is just a class act. I mean, there's so much respect for the players um, and our team. And you know what? It's just it's just been an honor for the last four years to represent them and Beaver Nation as a whole. So I'm forever grateful and blessed to be part of this program. Zach or Alex, I mean, it just it seemed like you guys were kind of playing from behind just this entire tournament. Did it just always feel like it, whatever the situation the game was in, you guys were just kind of always running uphill in this in this regional? Uh, I mean, it's kind of felt like that the last few weeks, honestly. Um, you know, and, and I think we have guys that were built for it, uh, but we kind of mentioned that things didn't really fall our way today, and that's okay. But, uh, you know, we showed that fight. Uh, I think we showed it all year, and um, just proud of the guys we have. Zach, this uh, program's kind of prided itself on its defense, so I guess how disappointing was it to kind of see the, the defense lots of today and, and yesterday? Yeah, I mean, shoot, that's not usually how we play defense. Um, like you said, you know, we kind of pride ourselves on pitching and defense. And there are some miscues and some things happen, some misread balls, you know, balls that usually, we usually catch. Um, but that's not a knock on those guys at all. You know, that, that happens in the game. And you make mistakes, especially physical mistakes. So. Obviously, we as media and also just baseball fans in general see all the statistics, the amazing things that Adley does. But is there anything specific that he does behind the scenes that you know maybe we miss that is just so big about what he does? Um, I mean, yeah, it's all been said about him. You know, you can't say enough good things. But um, just the kind of leader, uh, the kind of passion that he has for the game, it's, it's something that we all feed off. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with him too. So when we started playing, we were in middle school together, and kind of ran all the way through college. And I can say he's one of my best friends. Um, the character piece to him, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, he's an honest person, um, keeps his word, and you know, at the end of the day, he's he's got my back, and I got his back. And I know I can go to him at any point in life, and you know, whether it's a phone call, if he's across the country, he'll pick up, and he would be there for me. And so you, you can't. Yeah, it's almost stunning when it ends that way. I mean, after two college world series and you get the home regional to, to be in a game today and then look up and see that the regional's going on and you guys are out. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's not how any of us want it to end. You know, our goal every year is to win a national championship, and there's nothing else to it. Um, we expected to, you know, win three games and play in a super next week, but, you know, that's not how it goes all the time. Um, we have teams that are really right in a hot streak, and, I mean, Shoot granted to both the teams we played though too. You know, they, they played very well and barreled some balls up and um, we had some mistakes and that's kinda of how we put one. So uh, Zach, you mentioned your relationship with Adley. Uh, obviously I'm sure you want your season to be continuing, but what is it gonna be like on Monday to, to see him most likely go number one? A absolutely. I'm I'm really looking forward to that. And for the rest of the guys, you know, that have a shot to get picked up, but yeah, Rutch especially, I mean, like I said, that's one of my best friends growing up, to kind of see it come full circle, you know, and have his dream, dream fulfilled, you know, we all dream about that, being number one draft pick, and, um, so I, I couldn't be more happy for him, you know, and I, he deserves every bit of it, so I think as a team, collectively, our whole program, we're excited for him, so. Zach, you kind of mentioned how it's a childhood dream to go number one overall, and how you've known Adley for so long, is there any point that you or maybe you and Adley both realized that there was a legitimate shot that he could be a top draft pick? 
yeah, shoot, I think last year kind of proved it in a nutshell. Um, I remember sitting in a dugout after we were playing UNC, and Rutsch had that, I think he had a double to center, and he scored three runs on that play. And uh, I guess he looked at me and he's like, you know, that guy could go pretty high in the draft next year. And kind of we both laughed about it, but again, seeing it come full circle now in the position he is, I think a team's done enough to take that. So, but that's just my opinion. Thanks. Thanks, Zach.